The average McDonald's cashier across the US makes $10 per hour. Extrapolate that out to a 40 hour week and a 52 week year, and you get $20,800. I just made nearly $2,000 more than that selling a single domain name. Hey, my name is Christian, but you can call me Lil. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through what makes a good domain to flip. I'll walk you through my entire strategy point by point. And if you stick around to the end, I'm gonna tell you why almost every single domain flipper fails and why you will too if you listen to them. And make sure to hit that bell button so you don't miss any notifications because I'm gonna be coming out with lots of videos about money, entrepreneurship, travel, and health that you're really not gonna to wanna to miss. First off, the PHP Selenium automation scripts and everything else that I'm gonna walk you through in this video are available as a digital download in the description below. It represents about 100 hours of work, probably worth thousands of dollars to the right person. Pretty much anybody can take my code, apply a little elbow grease, recreate these results. Okay, I'm gonna hit the gym and sauna, um, but I will see you at home. As an American living in England, it is my civic duty to make a cup of tea every night and throw it straight into the trash can. So, I'm gonna tell you what the domain name was that I sold for $22,480, and then I'm gonna tell you exactly how I did it and what the steps were. But first, I need to tell you what makes a flippable domain name. If you watch my other domain flipping video, this might sound familiar to you, but in general, I like to find domain names that sound similar to or rhyme with big brand domain names. You think Apple, Mapple, Tapple, Crapple, something like that. Unfortunately, as of the recording of this video, all of those domain names are taken, but there are tons and tons of big names, even ones that a lot of people haven't heard of that are worth hundreds of millions or even billions of dollars. While I was filming the other video, my wife found the domain name swiggle.com which if you're familiar here in the UK, we have a company called Smiggle, which is very similar to Swiggle. It was selling for $260,000. And you have to imagine, I don't know for sure if it's gonna sell at that price, but you have to imagine that you, you look at a company that just announced a, a billion dollars earnings in the year. They're not going to think twice about a sale of $260,000 if they decide one day that they just need that domain name. So the owner of that domain might sit on it in the hope that they're gonna win the lottery. The second one in general is I like to smash keywords together. Again, in the last video, I discussed the journey of Huel, which is a British company here. They combined human and fuel into one domain name. And this one was of particular interest to me because it was actually bought from a domain flipper who had the same idea. It's simple conclusion, you have human and fuel mixed together makes Huel. Now, unfortunately or fortunately, all four letter .com domains are now gone. They don't exist anymore. And that's something to keep in mind when you're looking for your domain names, that the longer you go on, the more likely it is that it's just going to be taken. It's just going to be gone. Number three, in general, I really like alliteration. If you don't know what alliteration is, it's when you have two or more words in a row that start with the same sound. In general, I like to buy .com domain. There's definitely a market for .io and .ai domains, uh, but the .com domains will always be more valuable, will always be the most popular. .com, .io, I think is also more expensive. Uh, and so that's something to keep in mind. With all of that said, if you follow all of those rules, you probably overthought it. I know you didn't think I was gonna say that, but the truth is that the domain name that I just sold for $22,480 breaks all of those rules except the last one. And I'm gonna tell you why. First of all, the domain is shortdailydevotional.com. It is a live website. You can go check it out right now. Every rule that I could possibly follow, every rule that anybody's ever told you about how to find a good domain name means almost nothing if you're not creating value for the buyer. The key to making a, a flippable domain, a good domain, something that you can sell for a profit, as long as you can create content, if you can create traffic, you will find a buyer for something. In this next section, I'm gonna take you through the step-by-step -step process that I followed in order to create 30,000 blog articles and 90,000 print on demand products, all for a total of about $100 is what it costed me. Daddy, Daddy, <laughs> that's what we got. Good night, mommy. Four girls. I'm gonna be the one with the net. Sometimes I forget I live in England and then five minutes later it starts raining. So I'm gonna take a couple of shots from my house here. First of all, check this out. This is our inventory for our newest upcoming video. Sometime next month, I'm gonna be publishing a video about our newest eBay business. We're trying this out where we pick stuff up from charity shops and sell it on eBay and Depop and that sort of thing. Trying to see how much money we can make. 
I really can't emphasize this enough, and towards the end of the video, I'm gonna get into why the math never works out for domain flippers. Right around the time that I made that video, I wanted to conduct a little experiment, and let's just say it worked really well. So August 14th of this year, I bought the domain name shortdailydevotional.com. I just thought it was a natural niche for automating a whole bunch of blog articles. I'd been experimenting with my own little AI writer, which is something that you can actually use. You can use the same AI writer that I wrote all of Short Daily Devotional content on is available available on lowassistance.com. Click on my face in the lower right hand corner of the screen and fill out the details and you'll get access to our entire suite of SEO tools. So I took my AI writer and I wrote a script that automated the creation of one blog article for every verse of the Bible. Just one after another, after another, after another, after another. There are a little over 30,000 verses in the Bible. So I have a blog article that walks you through every single verse, gives you context, gives you a devotional, gives you a breakdown of what the verse means, and it's completely automated. I think it took like a grand total of two days to come out with 30,000 blog articles. I'm gonna be honest, I did not expect things to happen this fast. I thought it would take at least a year to sell this domain name. I thought that I was gonna have to do all the normal SEO stuff that I was going to have to put in a social media strategy. And I was gonna have to put one of my virtual assistants from Lil Assistance uh, on this full time for a year before I was able to actually sell this domain name. But just, I didn't even think about it. I just put a link in the footer that says buy this domain. A little over a month ago, nothing really special. Somebody reached out to me through there and I didn't really think much of it. I didn't think it was gonna be serious. I thought maybe he's just a little bit curious, you know, whatever. But I mean, this guy is serious. He's got three other print on demand businesses and the whole model, the content print on demand, and everything, it just works for him. Now, our contract is contingent on me finishing all of those 90,000 products. Those aren't done yet, but it's just a matter of time. If you don't know what the Selenium IDE is, essentially a graphical user interface that allows you to automate browser tasks. So it pretends to be a person doing things on a browser. And I wrote a Selenium script that automates the creation of print-on-demand products. If you don't know what print-on-demand is, it's essentially a product that you put on your website, you sell it on your website, and when an order comes through, it automatically places that order with a fulfillment partner. Somebody who actually makes the product, ships it out for you, they white label it for you, everything's great. I use Printify, there are lots of other ones that'll do the job, but what happens is I automated taking all of those images, those featured images for each one of the blog articles, and turned them each into three products. A mug with the image and a verse, a canvas with the image and a verse, and a scented candle with the image and a verse. Now that process hasn't finished yet. We, we don't have all of the products ready yet. They're all being created currently. That process takes a little bit longer and is a little bit more difficult than the actual automation of the blog scripts. And my sale is dependent on finishing that. So definitely something that I'm incentivized to do. Last but not least, I implemented a strategy where a user gets a free mug if they enter their email. Now it's it's a bit of a trick because you have to pay for shipping. And shipping actually pays for the product and pays for the shipping itself. So we don't lose anything, but we gain an email address. We have 32,000 organic hits a month. We have an email list of about 2,000 now. We are creating about 90,000 print on demand products in three months. If you want to get into like the super nitty gritty of how to do each and every one of those steps, go subscribe to my other YouTube channel, at Lil Assistance. That's the channel where I, I get really in detail with anything without worrying about the YouTube algorithm. If you want to know why the traditional domain flippers and gurus online, why almost all of them fail, keep watching because this video is not done yet. Just to give you a little context, a little history, there was a time when buying a domain name that had strictly just keywords in it was really valuable. Something like femalefootwear.com would be way more valuable than some random word like Adidas, at least for that keyword. Like if you search for female footwear on Google, femalefootwear.com was more likely to come up than adidas.com. I'm not trying to say that that keyword, that domain name now, doesn't have any value. But the thing is, is that if you search for female footwear now, femalefootwear.com is not going to come up. Adidas will come up, or Nike will come up, or some other brand name. It's because Google has gotten smarter, more intelligent. It doesn't fall for these old-timey tricks. They're essentially tricks where you're trying to trick the Google algorithm into thinking that you're important. If femalefootwear.com didn't rank for any search terms, but some random word like hodgepodgemagosh.co.uk.biz did rank for the keyword female footwear, then that domain name is gonna be worth thousands of times more than femalefootwear.com. But focusing too much on that domain name is where you go wrong. You have to put yourself in your buyer's shoes. If I wanted a domain name, I really like the domain name thehackermindset.com. I think I said in my last video, I really want to have a book called The Hacker Mindset. It's currently on sale for $1,700, which is more money than I'm willing to spend because thehackermindset.io, the hacked mindset, a hacker's mindset, all of those domain names are still available and thehackermindset.com doesn't have any traffic doesn't have a social media following, doesn't have 
any real value. Plug in a couple of numbers here. So the person who owns the hackermindset.com gets his domain names from namecheap.com. Now at the time of this recording, Namecheap sells .com domains for $9.60 per year. I don't recommend Namecheap. It is a little bit cheaper than Google domains, but Google domains is just so much better. Namecheap is usually used by these kinds of domain flippers because it's cheaper. I really don't recommend you go with any service other than Google domains. They just offer so much more for so much less money and it doesn't feel like you're trying to be roped into some sort of scam. So the hackermindset.com, seven years times $9.60, that equals $67.20. From all of the information that I've been able to gather, the average sell-through rate, that is the number of domain names you're able to sell, is only 1%. Imagine the average domain flipper has to buy 100 domains in order to sell one. That is $6,720 to make one sale. That's like four times his asking price for his one domain. On average, they don't go for their asking prices. The average premium domain name sells for about $400. I'm not exaggerating. If you dedicated $12 per day to buying a new domain name and then selling it versus $12 a day buying lottery tickets, you would almost certainly come out on top buying the lottery tickets. Now, you might get lucky. You might even be in the small minority of people who do make money. There certainly are people who do it. I'm not trying to knock them. Do what you do, you know? So why do these gurus, why do these online personalities, why do these people selling courses tell you you can make it? Well, the answer to that question, as well as so many other of life's mysteries, is simple. It's money. There was somewhere along the way that somebody realized, one of these gurus realized, that they could make more money telling people how to buy and sell domain names than they could actually buying and selling domain names. I'm gonna let you in on a little secret, but to do that, I need to switch over to my computer. So give me just one second. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys uh, something that most of these domain flipping gurus are not gonna want you to know about. The first thing that I want you to tell, and this, this is the reason that I want you to take everything that they say with a grain of salt. The first thing, most of them are pushing some service, sometimes a course, sometimes some software. I've seen these courses go for like three grand. You can imagine the kind of profit that these people are pulling in just from these courses where they know that 99% of people fail, then they're still doing better than the average. But the thing is, this isn't profitable. It's not profitable, they know it, but they push it anyway. The second thing is that advertising for this niche is so valuable. I'm gonna let you guys in on a little something here. First thing is, you can see right here, this is my YouTube channel, this is the revenue from my YouTube channel. You can see on average I make about $18 per 1,000 views that I get. That blows the YouTube average out of the water. The YouTube average is like two to five dollars per thousand views because I'm talking about business and entrepreneurship and similar. Advertisers pay bigger money for those types of videos. However, if you take a look at my domain flipping video, you'll see that that number very quickly jumps to $73 per thousand views. That means that I've made $73 per thousand views. Now in the grand scheme of things, $556 it's not that much money. It's not as much money as I could make, you know, as I made selling my domain name, but it's still a lot. You can see here that my views are consistent. They're not going down. I, I'm, I'm making like six or seven dollars every single day. Over the course of a year, that's worth thousands of dollars. I'm gonna flip back to my camera, one second. Now, when I published that video, I had no idea that it was gonna be so valuable. And I'd be lying if I said that that number doesn't at least partially sway my decisions on what I publish, on what I record. I'm not saying that you shouldn't use those other gurus as inspiration. I'm not saying that you shouldn't follow their advice to one extent or another. But what I am saying is that you need to take what they're saying, even take what I'm saying, with a grain of salt. I believe in what, what I think the future of domain, what website flipping is. If you're gonna create a valuable website, one that somebody wants to buy, you have to create value. What is valuable? A social following, an email list, traffic, content, those things are valuable. Now how do you create that? Well, it's obviously not that simple. It's not free, it's not, it's not even cheap, it's not easy. But successful businesses never are. You have to work hard, you have to work smart. You have to take everything that everyone is telling you with a grain of salt, try things out, experiment, and then double down on what works, what actually works. I'll just leave you with that. Never forget, business is a journey. Your website is a journey. Your domain flipping is a journey. Till next time, ciao.